Have a ticket. Hi. You okay? I'm fine. So according to the whisker, you're weighing 77.8. Okay. Yeah. And you want to lose your kg, right? Yeah. So the recommended amount of kg they're supposed to lose in a month. It's two kgs, right? Okay. And in a span of three months, you'll have to lose six kgs because okay. that's the personal target that I'm setting to you. So. I know you can be able so, to attain sure. it, right? For sure. Yeah. So, that being said, by March, it's supposed to be at 71.8 kgs. Done. The journey started off well. Um, I had a lot of motivation, I had a lot of energy. I was hitting the gym three times a week. Uh, I was really, really being careful with the diet. It was all going to plan because I had already lost close to two kilos. And then I got again my lifestyle took over with the traveling. And then I started having inconsistency with both my diet and the gym. So I'm back where we started anyway. We set to succeed. What's happened is unlike before, before uh, I, I put anything in my mouth, I'm much more conscious about, uh, you know, is this right for me or it's not right for me. So I think it's created more of a guilty feeling. If I'm anyway eating something I shouldn't, I always remember V. Like, what must she be thinking? Before my meal times were all, were all over the place, uh, sometimes I would miss out on lunch times, it would not happen. Sometimes dinners would be at 10 at night. Um, but I think one of the key things um, that being more conscious about not just the meals, but the times themselves are very important. So I think that and the portions. In terms of the changes, uh, when definitely when I was on the treadmill consistently, I would feel much more light, I would feel much more energetic. Um, there is a certain feeling to actually just after having had a long day at work and you run on the treadmill and you come out all, you know, it's like you've sweated your stress out. You feel five kilos lighter, you know. You hit bed very quickly, you, you have a very good sleep. You, you, you don't wake up feeling tired, you know, even despite having a very strong session in the gym, uh, you actually wake, end up waking up feeling very refreshed. Some of the challenges, I, you know, for me, I don't want to sound like I'm making excuses anyway, because it's a matter of being able to have, just like we know, we have to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, right? So if our meal times are fixed, so should be our gym times. It's as simple as that. And I didn't do that. So I actually don't think I encountered any challenges. So if I talk about my traveling and things, it should fit around my schedule. As I said, even if I'm traveling, it's not like I stop drinking uh, water or I stop eating. So if I do that, then religiously I should also be doing this. Yeah. How are you? Good. How have you been so far? Good man. How has the workout challenge been for you? Inconsistent. So you'll have to step on the windscreen. Okay. Starting with the right foot, then gently pressing your left foot on top of it. Let's see man. What happens? Actually 77.7. Yeah. yeah. I'd lost in between. How many kgs did you lose? Two. Two. Because there was that one month I was on a proper diet, no fried food, nothing. Gym was happening at least three times a week. Okay. Now it's like once in three weeks from three times a week. What? Working out? Yeah. Once in three weeks? Yeah. Even the days I was not at least being able to go to the gym, yeah. I was running at home on the treadmill. Uh -huh. So it shows whatever I'd done because of not being consistent. Yeah. I've, so literally, it's like we're there. Yeah? I think this is a lesson to other guys out there. Consistency is key. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I'm 77.7, .7, so let's just say 78. I need to get to between 72 to 71. And I have to, and I will make it happen. 